we start off with a text matrix. We can put this text matrix into a larger matrix central by doing negative and positive overtake. Now we can see where S can be found in the larger matrix. A 1 indicates that and a 0 indicates something else. This is a Boolean matrix. I can rotate this Boolean matrix 9 times to get a proximity matrix which shows me the neighbors of S that can be reached in one step at distance 1. I can also inquire for the position of O. Here then we can do an outer AND product and see where S can reach O in one step. This can be seen at the top right matrix. By doing an all reduction on the same expression, we see that S reaches O by a diagonal upwards movement to the right. We do the same thing by an n-wise reduction of 2 across a piece of text. We see that S reaches O by diagonally upwards to the right, O reaches R by going diagonally upwards to the right, and R reaches T by going diagonally downwards to the right. I would like to know where S originated as well. So the same expression and with O sort. I can see where O reaches S in one step. This gives me indices by doing pick like that. This indice indicates where the ones can be found. This is also a path. We can see that here. That same expression. So we want the indices in the original matrix and we get sort back. This has a name. It's a word path. Only looking at the indices and you will note that the generalization comes from adding the omega at the right. So the right argument and the two pick of it. So we put letter first. It's, this is the trick to get the first matrix. Therefore, word path, shorten. Do we find shorten in one continuous path in the text matrix? This is the path. Well, this is M. Then please show me how do I get this? We get it by starting in the bottom left, going upwards. From there we go diagonally to the right, upward. Then to the right, then diagonally downwards to the right, then left, and then down. This, ladies and gentlemen, is how you write a word pathfinder in APL.